and a lot of people come up here and they have like drinks and they have wine, beer, all kinds of stuff, cocktails. So also, really it's it. pretty family friendly in here. A lot of people with children and a lot of strollers. Yeah, this vlog is gonna become a family vlog now eventually <laughs> in two months. So. Today is May 28th, and it is the very first day that this Cheddar Gondola is open for the season. We kind of timed our trip to be here in Ordesay for the opening of the gondola. So today is our last day in Ordesay, and we're going to go up to Cheddar. The views are amazing from there. We're not going to get the perfect like Instagram photo because it's sunny. It's okay. I'm excited to see it. We might... I think we read that the viewpoint is about a 10 minute walk from the gondola station. And then you could do like a longer walk up there. Watch out, we're about to get off. <laughs> so we'll get up there and see what we do. I wanted to rent an e-bike and take it up the gondola. I even went down to the little like rental station or rental shop and asked them about like all the different trails and stuff. Unfortunately, it's a little bit more difficult than the one we did in Alpe de, Alpe de Suisi. Probably not the best for today, so we'll just go up there. I wasn't going to do it, and I didn't feel comfortable with Alan riding down the mountain all by himself because if something were to happen, there would be nobody with him to call for help. There ain't gonna, nothing going to happen. We don't know that. I just didn't think it'd be a good idea to be like, oh yeah, we went on a baby moon and my baby daddy died. Nah, not that easy to kill me. But anyway, we're about to get here, so we gotta buy our tickets. I think it's 37 euros round trip to the very top station. There's two gondolas that you have to take. Yeah, but I think that's normal price for like just gondola. Like even in Switzerland, each trip was like 30 something euros. You can also rent bikes right from the, the gondola station as well. So there's a bike and ski rental place right here. Stop number one, it took about nine minutes. Now we have to get on the second one. Thank you, Melissa. First impressions. Just walk out of the gondola station is like 360 views of all the mounts around here. So we're out, we're looking down into the valley where our Porta Say is. And then Alp de Suisi is over there. Man, it's nice. And it's super clear day today, so we got a perfect day. It's definitely a little chillier up here. So when you're up here, definitely bring a little light jacket. It's not super cold, it's still okay, but would do well with another jacket. But man, it is such a beautiful day today. Can't really ask for any better. Today is the first day that this is open, so first time anybody has come up here on the gondola all season. So the gondola 
drop you off at this little hut up here and then you have to walk a little bit up to the top over there and that's where you get the crazy views and then you can also walk along the ridge on the top over there so we might do that a little bit later and you can also walk across and this is where you can also do the mountain bikes we saw a few people bring the mountain bikes here and then you can walk across and then this is like the the crazy sacheta ridge over in the distance over there so yeah you can take the bike all the way across where people are walking and then ride it all the way down the valley basically all right made it to the top wasn't very easy, especially for Melissa. I also helped her up the mountain, but the views from here are really nice. Be nice to get a spot over there. So when you get up to the very top, you gotta come down this little ridge and that's where you get really good photos as well. So don't miss out on this little like offshoot ridge. And there's a lot of like little photo spots that are around here. So we're here kind of set up for potentially a photo. But Melissa also brought her dress and everything. So we might do a little photo shoot right here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to change in public. <laughs> I think you can go around to the other side of those rocks maybe. done with location number one now off to our second location got lots of drones flying up here which is awesome makes me miss my drone I will buy another mini drone I think the new like DJI mini 3 is the new one that they just came out with so I'll probably get that I have some uh, jealousy of these people with their drones nobody likes drone pilots why first of all the noise from the drones are annoying <laughs> it's true <laughs> and you're not paying attention to where you're going so you almost knock pregnant people off the mountain <laughs> As you're hiking down that little path right here and you pass the second gondola there is a little bit of an open path here you have to kind of cross the little wire fence here and this is where a lot of people take photos there's a few little hills over here so that's a good little spot we spent about 30 40 minutes doing photos up here but yeah it is incredibly incredibly beautiful up here Melissa went down there ahead of me while I was getting changed back into our hiking clothes. But yeah, this is this is the spot right here. Like, have to go underneath the wire fence. And then you can definitely hike down there as well. So I think I'm gonna hike down and then Melissa's gonna go down to a little hut down there for food. And then I'm gonna go a little bit further up. So, very successful photo mission here. I think this is my favorite photo spot. By the little wildflowers. It's a little bit further down well, than I my mean, prior spot. of Sacheta. Oh, just Sacheta in general? Versus like the, the other photos we took. Yeah, this is probably my favorite spot in the entire Dolomite region, for sure. Same. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely Sacheta don't miss it. Sacheta is just insane the way it- It's just this like- Is cut out. It's crazy like steep mountains that just like jut up. Amazing. Honestly, like when you see the photos, like you see the little like side, you don't know, like I didn't know what to expect really, but it's actually a lot more dramatic in person than from photos, I think. I don't know, it's pretty dramatic in photos too. I don't know, it's really nice. So <laughs> Melissa's gonna go back down to the little hut up there or down this way. 
and I'm gonna go on a solo mission up to the top of the ridge and see what the view looks like over there. I don't think the views are gonna be good, but I don't think the photos from there are gonna be good. So I don't think Melissa gonna, is gonna go up there anyway because you know she is seven months pregnant. Mostly, I just have to pee. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that too. It's hard for you to walk uphill. Yeah. Really. Okay, we'll see you in a little bit. All right. There's quite a number of hiking paths all along here. And then there's also a few more huts down in the valley. So if you want to hike down the valley, then end up over there. And then you can walk down all the way back to town if you wanted to. Definitely a cool spot to come up and spend the entire day. If it's good weather day, yes. I don't think there's anywhere better in the Dolomites to spend a little time, really, over there in Al Alpe de Suisi. It's really nice too, but views up here are quite amazing. So definitely don't miss out on both the Sechetta and uh, I'll bet they sweetie. You really could take your e-bike up here, but paths are a lot narrower here, so definitely a lot more tricky to ride. So I'm actually thankful that I didn't take the e-bike. It's more of a hassle than anything else. All right, made it up to the ridge line. A little harder than expected, so thankfully Melissa didn't come. But now we are gonna go to the very top of the ridge, literally walking next to the 2,000 foot descent. guys, when you're here in Sechetta, make sure you hike up to this little ridge line here. I'm kind of kneeling for the wind, but man, this spot is beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty damn good. <laughs> what are you having? Do you want to have a seat? I saved you half of my soup and some bread. Okay. Goulash? No, it's just vegetables. Oh. Alright, so that was an amazing day up here at the top of Sechetta. Definitely don't bring a bike up here because it really is difficult to ride because there's also a lot of hikers that you're gonna try to avoid and it's also single track trails. So just come and hike it. Make sure you come on a nice clear day because it is amazing. 360 views up here. Yeah, it's my favorite spot in the Dolomites. By a long shot. So make sure you come when the gondola is open. Be sure to check the schedule. They have a website and everything. And yeah. there's also a webcam up here oh, so yeah. you can see if it's cloudy or not. But yes, highly recommend it. Don't miss it. Tons of photo opportunities up here. Tons. Make sure you go up to the ridge line. Melissa unfortunately couldn't do it because she, it was just too steep for her. You'll know what I'm talking about when you get here. Hike the ridge line. You won't regret that either. A little expensive to get up on the gondola. It's 37 round trip return. But I think it's worth it. Now it's definitely that I'm up worth here. it. It's definitely worth it. You, you can even bring kids up here, strollers up here. They have pretty good food and they don't price gouge you. Like I just had soup, um, veggie soup, and a basket of bread for 12 euros. It's not cheap, but it's also not super expensive. You can definitely there's places where they like raise the prices a lot. Right. And a lot of people come up here and they have like drinks and they have wine, beer, all kinds of stuff, cocktails. So also really it's it. pretty family friendly up here. A lot of people with children and a lot of strollers. Yeah, this vlog is gonna become a family vlog now eventually. <laughs> In two months, so kind of have to start thinking about those things. All right. But yeah, this so. is pretty much our day. Yeah, we're gonna head back down the gondola, get down to Orsay. Drive to Naturno to our next hotel. Which is supposedly an even better spa hotel. So we'll see. I'm excited. <laughs> 
I don't know how you can beat the Adler, but uh, yeah, very excited. If you'll do us a favor, hit that like button, hit subscribe if you're here, if you're new here, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. All right, we have to consult our map. There's too many things. <laughs> Was are we gonna be exploring until dinner time? Yeah, I think so. It's five thirty. Dinner starts at seven, so I think it'll take us about an hour and a half to explore. Look how many things there are on this map. It's like a, a venture park. It's like Disney for adults. <laughs>